Hi, I got a trivia question for you. It's from the Bible. Which godly man in the Bible said, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee. And when did he claim to be this? You will be very surprised. Also, did you know that there were seven types of Pharisees? I will briefly describe each one of them in this short video. I was amazed learning this recently. You'll like this video. The Lord Jesus Christ didn't disagree with the Pharisees. He actually told people in Matthew 23 to do what the Pharisees taught. In Luke 13, Jesus was warned by the Pharisees about Herod Antipas. There, the Pharisees were trying to help Christ. Jesus also said in the Sermon on the Mount that if your righteousness doesn't exceed that of the Pharisees, you won't enter the kingdom of heaven. He wouldn't have said that if they were scumbags with horrible reputations. So all Pharisees weren't all that bad. Actually, the ones who were really horrible people were the Sadducees. They were influenced by the Hellenistic or Greek culture and would conspire together with the Romans. They were corrupt to the core. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, it were the Sadducees who let the poor guy lie on the road between Jericho and Jerusalem without helping him. A Pharisee would have actually helped him. To learn more about this parable, watch this video. So let's look at the history of the Pharisees. They originated during the second century before Christ and their goal was to obey the law. Remember, disobedience to the law was the reason that the Hebrews had been taken into Babylonian captivity. The beliefs of the Pharisees were actually the same as the Zealots except for that they didn't want to use force, like assassinating Romans or tax collectors. They wanted to achieve their goals through peaceful means. They all worked for a living and were highly respected as being very godly, humble people. They did not want to blemish themselves with the Greek humanistic influence, like the Sadducees did. And as a result of this difference, in 88 BC, Alexander Janaeus, with the help of the Sadducees, had 800 Pharisees crucified. The Pharisees were actually the most critical about themselves. And pretty much everything that the Lord Jesus Christ said about some Pharisees, they wrote about that themselves in the Talmud. There were seven types of Pharisees. We'll cover them from worst to best. You can read about these yourselves in the Talmud or Google it. It's probably easier. So let's get started with the seven types of Pharisees. The first one is the shoulder Pharisee or Shikmi. They wanted everyone to see all of their good deeds on their shoulder. Kind of like Hollywood actors, except that Hollywood actors are a bit smarter. They hire publicists and they get paid for helping charities. The second one is the procrastination Pharisee, Nick P. They were known to put off doing any good deeds like never smashing the like button. I actually was a bit into procrastination. I almost started a club, a procrastination club, but we never got to it. The third one is... The bruised Pharisee, Kisai. These were known to walk into walls or stumble over stuff because they didn't want to look up and see a beautiful woman and have improper thoughts about them. Now, the fourth one is the outwardly humble Pharisee or Pessel. These folks would almost always look down to show their humility. Maybe Christ talked about them in his instruction about fasting in Matthew 6. The fifth one is the accountant Pharisee. They were constantly counting their good deeds versus their bad deeds and wanted to make sure their good deeds outweighed their bad deeds. The sixth one is the Pharisee motivated by fear. These Pharisees feared doing the wrong type of thing, 
They wanted to avoid all sin. The seventh one is... The love for God Pharisee. This is the type of Pharisee that I want to be. They want to love the Lord their God with all of their heart, soul, and mind, and would love the Word of God, memorize it and obey it. They wanted to obey the Shema. Watch this video here to learn more about this critical passage in the scriptures. I hope this helps you understand a little bit more of the culture that Christ was in. Also, to not judge the Pharisees like they shouldn't be judged. May we love the Lord our God with everything. May we be like the number seven type of Pharisee, meditating on God's word daily. I'll end with a little parable that I share all the time when I share the gospel here in South America. In Luke 18, Jesus tells a story of a Pharisee and a tax collector. I'll change a few things to make the story more relevant to today. One time there was an evangelical pastor or a highly esteemed religious man and there was a horrible person who had no respect among the population, like a pimp today. They both went to church to pray or to worship God. The pastor lifted up his voice and said, God, thank you that I'm a good person. I sponsor poor children, I lead a church, and I give my tithe faithfully. Thank you that I'm not like that pimp over there. The pimp, however, beat his breast and said, Oh God, thank you for dying for me on the cross. You are my savior. Which one went home justified? No matter who we are, we all have sinned and need a savior. Jesus took our sin, our shame, our guilt, and our punishment. He died on the cross and rose from the dead. May we trust in Jesus Christ as our Savior and have eternal life. So, now to our trivia question. Which godly man claimed to be a Pharisee or Pharisees? The answer is the Apostle Paul. Now, before you think that Paul said this before he was saved, he said that actually after he had done three missionary journeys and had written several books in the Bible. You can read about it in Acts 23, verse 6. He was the seventh type of Pharisee. That's the type of Pharisee I would like to be. Before you leave, be sure to STLB or smash the like button, basically to tell the YouTube channel to recommend these videos to others. Imagine YouTube putting up a virtual billboard, recommending its users to listen to these videos with the gospel in it. That's why watching these videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel helps the gospel go forth. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. God bless you.